good beautiful people it's your girl ashley and i'm here to bring you a video about mucoid plaque some of you saw the picture that i put up on my instagram page and said what are you drinking and a few people hit my dm and said show me how to make it what goes in it how does it taste things like that so i wanted to make you a video to give you a brief synopsis of what mucoid plaque is and show you how to make the drink so just to get started, mucoid plaque really is just a way to describe the buildup that happens to line our intestines and our colon. And one, it stops us from getting the nutrition that we need, being able to absorb it into our bodies. And two, it blocks the lining of our intestines until we eventually get what we call disease. So the term itself was coined by a doctor almost 30 years ago named Richard Anderson. Now he was not the first person to do research in the field of colon health. A lot of people might also be familiar with Dr. Arnold Eret, who was a German doctor or Dr. Sebi who was an African um, natural healer. A lot of people are familiar with their work but are not exactly sure how it works. So that's why I wanted to give you that brief synopsis of what it is and show you how to make the cleanse to help get rid of it, okay? So I'm going to use a couple basic ingredients, but your main ingredient is water. You're going to use a full bottle of water. I choose to use spring water. You can use spring water or distilled, whatever brand that you find suits best for you. But we have chia seeds, psyllium husk, and this was actually the only ingredient that I didn't already have in the house. But I went to Whole Foods and found it 15 bucks. Easy. Activated charcoal. You know I use the one with coconut. A lemon and some bentonite clay now I found this recipe from chef mama Rosa's YouTube channel who is a cancer survivor she was diagnosed with colon cancer several years ago and decided to go on her own journey of natural healing and wellness so that's where I got the inspiration to do this she actually used the liquid bentonite clay it comes in a large amber glass bottle and you can actually find that at whole foods also i believe or any other natural health food store but i just wanted to use what i had so with this i use less if you want to check out her video i use less than she does because i'm using actual powder but let's get into it i want it to be clear that if you want to do this cleanse if if you're on this journey to health and wellness that this is not just a drink this drink and you're good mucus forms in the body because of the diet that we have so eliminating mucus forming foods is a very big important step of this process so that means anything with gluten your pastas your rice bread um beans heavy starches things like that have to be eliminated from your diet as much as possible but a hundred percent meat and dairy has to be eliminated from your diet a hundred percent you have to go all in now you can decide okay maybe today i want to have this one gluten-free cracker or something like that okay that's up to you what you put in is what you get out but you have to make sure that you're going all in if you want to see results i also wanted to mention because someone asked me well can I just eat gluten-free foods and the trick with any processed food is that it's not going to have something good for you in it just like when you see diet or fat free or low calorie or no sugar the reason why I can say that it's a mental subconscious trick to make you feel like it's healthy when it's not so a lot of gluten-free foods are loaded with starch so while they're not loaded with wheat they are loaded with starch and yeast in a lot of cases and soy especially packaged foods they have a lot of soy so it's not good for your body it's still releasing carbonic acid or creating mucus in your body and that's not what you want I hope you guys try this out um if you like this video if you find value in it please give it a thumbs up um and if you want to come along with the journey then go ahead and subscribe. I'm about to show you how I make the drink so you can try to make it too.
you have to shake it really good you want it to be all mixed up now notice that i used silicone for my whisk because you don't want to use metal it will deactivate the healing properties in your charcoal and in your clay so i wanted to let you know about the ingredients because of course there's always going to be naysayers and opposition and people say oh well you know everything that comes out of you is basically the sum of its parts so that's partly true but what they fail to realize is what is in the drink and why it is so effective so the reason why the mucoid plaque does have a slight um slime texture to it when it comes out is yes in part because of the chia seeds however what they don't understand is the chia seeds and the psyllium husk are for fiber purpose and for gel purpose you need that slime effect because you want it to be easy coming out however the bentonite clay and the activated charcoal are toxin absorbing so no you don't have a big long rope of gel sitting in your intestines not at all but your intestines is lined with several years of buildup of putrefied meat whatever foods that you've eaten the decayed food part parts of it sits in your lining and it is a precursor to all types of disease and cancer yes there is a buildup of mucus but it's not necessarily the way that some people try to make it because you'll see pictures and they're very graphic they're very explicit and they'll say that was sitting in there yes and no it didn't completely look like that and when you look at the research that's not what these doctors are saying they're saying they're pulling the layers of mucus out so some of it is part and parcel of the sum of its parts the ingredients in here and a lot of it is the toxins and the mucus that is inhibiting the nutrients that you're trying to put into your body from absorbing into your system so make sure that before you discount it you do your full research because of course there's a, a naysayer you can find anywhere and they'll give you their reasons and verifications why they're so sure however when you look at them oftentimes they're not in their best health we'll say it like that so when you're done this is what it should look like if you're using the powder clay like I am do it in the order I did it I did it that way on purpose because if you try to put other ingredients and then the clay on top your clay will become clumpy so make sure you do it in that order stir it in that order so you have the best consistency possible you see this it's nice and smooth there's no clumps and this was three days of figuring it out that I got it like this because my first two days it was clump city baby that's it that's all cheers to your health if you like this video if you found value in it please give me a like and if you want to follow the journey to see what happens go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching I'll see you next video